When we look at the list of artists who've been here, it's a strong statement for this university in terms of its support of the arts, and in particular the visual arts. Over a period of time, why artists have been excited about being here is because of Jack Kerfman. We would have contemporary artists like Andy Warhol and Rosenquist and oh, you name it, all, all of the different ones that came here. That was a heyday. Artists wanted to bring their work here, to show it here, because of Jack's sensitivity, because of the way Jack's aesthetic emphasizes and recognizes the quality of any media. So the Laurie Student Center, the visual arts program, are synonymous with Jack Kerfman, who's been the only designer of exhibitions in the Kerfman Gallery. The way that a bag folds up interests him. The way, you know, the the design of a french fry holder. I always think of Jack when I see that, and it must be because one time he said, look at this, look at this beautiful design, how this little box goes flat so quickly. You know, isn't that nice? You know, he just finds those little things. I think he sees in an aesthetic way that many people don't. I think that's what makes his exhibition skills so great. He's able to to know what things should go together, uh, how they should be spaced, uh, what you should be struck with as you walk in the door. I mean, these are all subtleties that many people, when they walk into a show, take for granted. That's true. Jack could set up a show so beautifully. It really was revealing, you might say. You know, oh, I didn't know that looked so good. He made everything look better. There's no finer person as far as creating an exhibition, not only on a shoestring, but making it interesting and exciting for our audiences. That's Jack, that's Jack. I'm intrigued by unique shapes. He is always searching for the magic in someone else and the magic in their artwork. I don't have a formula that says you do this, this, this. Each, each exhibit is, is totally new and because the artwork is different. It's corny, I know, but the, the work tells me, so to speak, what I should do with it in the space. Jack has taught us all so much and yet there's a secret inside of his mind on how he thinks and it is fascinating how he thinks. He does follow a, a pattern, I believe, in looking at the space, looking at the artwork, figuring out how he can surprise patrons when one comes in and turns a corner there's something that's just amazing in terms of the design and the work of the artist. As people may remember, we dedicated the gallery in honor of Jack in the early 80s. And then 25 years later, we rededicated it, reaffirming how critical he has been to the visual arts in this facility and in the process, we had an exhibition of his collection, which is very pronounced, very versatile, very diverse, and really fun. The fact that he had a tire iron that he had collected, because the little finial end of it was a lovely design. Not many of us have saved a tire iron. I think it had been from one of his father's automobiles because he saw the beauty in it. People have said, how many exhibits have you done? I have no clue as to how many hundreds and hundreds of exhibits. 
It would be hard to find anyone who didn't recognize the name Jack Kerfman, even before the dedication of the gallery. There's no other building on this campus, with the exception of the Yates Building, that's been named for someone living, except for the Kerfman Gallery. That's huge. Colorado State is indeed special because of Jack. Mm -hmm.